could smell it right from the lid. Oh my gosh, I see. I see the coziness, the cocooning. Oh my goodness. It's so warm. I cannot wait to use this in my house. I love this and I'm so excited about it. I've always loved room diffusers, so I'm really excited to try theirs out and see what it's all about. But yes, they also have a um, how it works here on the little sheet. So if you don't know how to use it, it'll tell you exactly how to. But that is their new room diffusers. And I'm so excited for you guys to go get one for yourself on their website. Just go to dossier.co to get yours. And I'll link all that down in the description box below. But again, Dossier, thank you so much. I'm so excited for this product. Let's get started with the rest of the video. I'll be with you in just one second. So sorry to hear that. Well, I'm Dr. C and I'm going to take great care of you, okay? Awesome. So just sit in that seat back there, right there. Perfect. And let me get my computer so we can talk about what's going on. Okay, what's your first name? Last name? Perfect. And what is your date of birth? Beautiful. Okay. So it is... 5.30 Alrighty. So you can tell me what's going on. Okay. And how long has that been going on for? Okay. Now, is this something that's been reoccurring or is it something new? Okay. Right. So around this time of year, you get really congested. Okay. Now, are you having any itchiness or water watery eyes or anything like that? Okay. And what about your ears? Any fullness? Any itchiness? Pain. Okay. And then in your throat, right? Same thing itchiness, dryness, sore. Are you noticing any redness or any like, every time you swallow, does it feel really scratchy? Are you having any issues with anything else? Right. Okay. I can definitely give that a look. Did you say it's on your right arm? Is this something that could possibly be due to whatever's going on in the air? Maybe. 
Have you changed any of your products that you're using? No? Okay. Yes, I do think it may be allergy related, but we're gonna just do a full check on you, make sure that it's nothing else. I am gonna look at your arm, check your eyes, your ears, your mouth, all that good stuff. Have you happened to take any medication today? Okay. 25 milligrams of that, okay. So nothing for your throat, nothing like that, no ibuprofen, Aleve, Advil, just that one thing. Okay, good. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Are you comfortable? Okay, good. Yes. Can you scoot a little bit closer to me? Beautiful. I am just going to put one more thing in my notes and then I'm going to do a full check on you, okay? Alrighty. So, we are going to start with your temperature first. You haven't taken your temperature today, correct? I just want to rule out the flu or anything like that. Yes, okay. So I'm just going to get my thermometer out here. I'm going to turn it on. Wait till it gets to zero. Perfect. I'm just going to stick that in your mouth. Try not to move or talk. listen to your um, lungs and just your heartbeat, okay? So if you can just take a regular breath in for me, good. Okay, do that again. Perfect. Again. Okay, let me check the back. Good, just regular breathing. Okay, now this side. Very good. Now I'm going to come back to the front. Can you take a deep breath in for me and blow all the air out? Ready? Breathe in. And out. Perfect. Do that one more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. Beautiful. Okay. Now to the back. Breathe in. And out. One more time. In. And out. Gonna listen to your heartbeat. Okay, good. Beautiful. Your lungs sound good. I don't hear any wheezing sounds or any like heavy breathing when you do take deep breaths in, so that's good. Your heartbeat does sound good as well. You haven't been coughing or anything like that, have you? A little? Okay. You've had some drainage. Got it. Okay. Next thing I want to do is just take your pulse and your oxygen levels. So this is a nifty little tool. It's called a track aid. Just turn it on. I'm going to put it on your finger. Good. And it's just going to take your pulse and your oxygen levels. Just a few 
few more seconds. One, two, three. Very good. Okay. Beautiful. So you are right at 99% oxygen. And your pulse is at 75. So that's good. Next, I'm going to just do your blood pressure. Now, this machine may be a little loud, so just bear with me. Do you want it on your left or your right arm? You don't care? Okay. Just do it on this arm here. And I'm going to put it right on your wrist, actually. So what I want you to do is just put it over your chest. Good. And hold it like that. I'm just going to turn it on. Please remain seated and refrain from talking during measurement and keep cuff at the heart level. Okay. Measuring over. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to take it off. And you are right at. over 78 which is also very good so everything looks good when it comes to your vitals so I'm not concerned about that at all I do want to kind of look into your throat and your eyes and just make sure that I don't see anything and I am going to check on your arm so Let me just put my gloves on since I will be touching you. And you just said it's on your right arm, correct? Okay. Let's actually look at that first and then we can do your exam for your eyes and your ears and your throat. Give me your arm. And I'm just going to feel the area around it. Feel the texture of the skin. I'm just going to do a little bit of padding. Does that hurt? I'm just going to pat on this side. There. Oh, okay. And on this side. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to feel on the actual rash and you let me know if there's any sensitive areas. Right there. Okay. Does this rash itch by chance, or is it more just irritating? It started as an itch and then turned into more irritating. Okay. And how long did it take to go from itching to irritation? About two days. Okay. Let me see here. I squeeze in the area, is it tender? Okay. And you said you have not changed any of your products that you've been using on your skin, correct? What about your laundry detergent? Anything like that? Okay, good. Have you been out in the wilderness by chance? In the woods, did you rub against a tree or a plant? Okay. Okay. So 
I'm going to take my light here and I just want to look a little bit deeper into the rash and the area around it. Just checking the redness, the bumps, seeing any other areas around this that I can't see just with my own eyes. Right there, it's pretty irritated. The rest looks the same. Okay. Let me just write that down really quick. I do just want to take a little sample of that area. Is that okay? Okay. I just want to make sure it's not poison ivy or anything like that. Okay. I'm going to leave that there for about five minutes then it will let me know what it is and then we can decide what to do to treat it if it is that if it's nothing else then we can treat it a different way okay good just gonna let that sit for a second and we can do your other vitals just make sure everything's good with your throat your ears and your eyes okay so I do just want to look into your throat so if you can open up really wide for me and say uh -huh. very good okay I'm just gonna shine this right on your throat can you open a little wider for me there we go okay I do see a little bit of redness in the back of your throat you lean your head back a little bit. There you go. Okay, so there is just some redness. I don't see any pus pockets. Your, um, your glands aren't swollen. Nothing like that. Just a little bit of redness. Okay, good. Now I'm going to look into your eyes. So I'm just going to check this eye first. Can you look this way for me? Good. Okay, now look at me. Good. And then look this way. Perfect. Alright, same thing on this side. Just look this way. Good. Now look right at me. Perfect. And then look this direction. Beautiful. Okay, so your eyes do look a little red and kind of puffy down here underneath. Are they hurting when you look different directions? A little bit, okay. So what I want to do is I'm just going to bring the light right up here and I want you to look up as high as you can. You stop when it hurts. Good. Okay, and just follow the light down and look as far as you can until it hurts. Good. Now come back to center. Okay, and I'm going to go side to side and you tell me what hurts the most whether it's going side to side or up and down okay, good okay let me see here I'm just going to shine 
the light a little bit right here at the bottom. I'm just going to bring it really close to your face. Good. Okay. Okay, so what was worse, up and down or side to side? Up and down. Okay. Now I'm going to look into your ears, so if you can just turn your head this way a little bit. Check this ear. See if I see any extra earwax or anything going on in there. You said you're feeling a little bit of fullness. Okay. Okay, now turn that way. Very good. Just gonna check this ear. So I do see a little bit more earwax in this ear compared to the other one. And this one seems to be a little bit more red. But nothing else to be concerned about. I really do think you're just dealing with the seasonal allergies. Do you happen to be on a allergy pill? Okay. So I would recommend you get on an allergy pill, something that you can take every night before bed. This is just going to help mitigate as much as you can of the outside sources that could possibly cause lots of allergies to occur. So I am going to prescribe you something. It's very small, nothing... Um, too intense. It's only 10 milligrams and you just take it once at night before bed. And I really feel like you'll see a big difference in how you'll feel. So I'm going to put that on here and I'm going to give you a 90 day, to 90 day supply just so you can kind of see how it's working for you after three months and then we can reevaluate where you're at and see if we need to get you on something stronger or if that seems to be the right dosage for you, okay? Perfect. And then I do want to look at your arm again. I'm going to check this little swap here. Okay, so you do not have anything that I was uh, wondering if you had. You don't have um, any bacterial infection, no staph, no nothing like that. You said you hadn't been in the woods, so I had a feeling you didn't have poison ivy or anything like that. It just looks like you're having a reaction to the weather outside, which is very normal. It doesn't just affect your sinuses, it also can affect your skin. Yes, you can break out in hives, you can get rashes, you can get super itchy, dry, all that kind of stuff. So I really think you taking that allergy pill will help. Yes, so I am just going to give you a little bit of medication to put on this rash. And I will per, um, write this on your list of stuff to get from the pharmacy just so that you can have some at home to help get rid of it if it does continue. Okay, I'm just going to rub this on the area. in a little bit. Perfect. All right. So, there 
there's that. Let me just write that down. So you're going to be on 10 milligrams of allergy pill, three months supply, and then ointment for rash due to allergies. I actually do have a sample of the allergy pill um, here with me and I'm just going to go ahead and give you one of those now. So just take one now. There you go. And remember it's just once right before bed so you can take that before you go to bed tonight if you can't get to the pharmacy but it is going to come in a little box just like this. Correct. And it's going to have 30 days in each box. So you're going to get three boxes. Correct. And then we'll reevaluate after the three months to see where you're at. And then this is what the bottle is going to look like for your ointment. You already have it on your arm, so you don't have to worry about doing it again today. But I would recommend you do it at least once a day to try to get it to go away. So I did put this on your sheet as well. So those are the two things that you are going to pick up from the pharmacy. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and send that right away. So you should be able to pick it up within the hour. Okay. All right, my dear, is there anything else I can do for you? No? I hope you feel so much better. Make sure that you drink plenty of fluids. Take that allergy pill. Just really try to avoid being outside on the days where the um, pollen count, all of the different um, trees and stuff are pollinating. You can download this app on your phone called pollen.com or pollen, something like that, just Google on your app store pollen count and it should pop right up and you can put in the state and the area that you live in and it will tell you exactly what days the pollen count is the highest and which trees and plants are blooming at that time of the day. So that'll give you a good idea of what you could be having the allergic reaction to and those are the days that I would try to avoid staying outside for a long period of time, okay? Of course. Alright, sweetie, so I just need you to take this up to the front. She's going to put it in the system that you need to get these two prescriptions and she's going to put everything else in the computer for you, okay? Of course. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and if anything does change or gets worse, please give us a call back or go to your uh, nearest emergency room, okay? Alright, you have a great rest of your day.